Oh, Lord. Happy Monday. We got an order on Uber Eats that I've never seen, an order I've, like I've never seen before. And we're gonna do it pretty much in real time with you guys in this little video, because I like to show you things that I've never seen. I've seen orders like this before, as far as from this location, because it's weird, it'll just say St. Louis. It won't have a name or anything like that. And I think I know what we're picking up, but I'm not sure. And I've never been to this location. And when I put in a like a Google search maps of, um, of the address, not a lot of information pops up. I'm going to like a plaza, warehouse kind of. And it tells me there's some directions, pull up here, people will load it for you. I think I'm picking up meals, like for meals on wheels kind of thing, which is ironic, but kind of cool. I've never seen an order pay this much on the Uber Eats app. The enter, like it's showing, me, never. I'll show you guys at the end what it's paying. You won't believe it. Um, it's saying it should take us two hours. It's 23 miles, I think. And a lot of the customers live really close. 16 packages. I think I'm picking up meals on wheels or something similar. Let's go on this journey. Let's see what how it goes. Am I picking up one meal, a big box of meals? I got a large enough car to figure it out. The pay is worth the time for me so far. I think you guys are going to be interested to see what this payout is going to be at the end. Let's go. Welcome back to Mr. Down on You. You know, I want to add something here. What's interesting, I was in the middle of doing a Walmart Spark that I just dropped off shopping. And the Uber app was going off like crazy with these orders that just says St. Louis. And it'll say like 20 bucks for like 20 miles. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not doing it. not doing it. So I declined like four of them. And then this one came in and they like put them all together basically. So whoever's working at this place or they just said, let's just put them all together. Let's see if one person will pick them all up. I'm, I think that's what happened here. We'll, we're gonna find out in a moment. We got a five minute drive, okay? So in the comment section, what do you think this is paying us? It's 16 packages. I don't know what I'm picking up. I can only assume it's 23 miles, 16 packages. What would you have had to be paid to see if it matches up with what I accepted? I think I'm, I think I might be going to like a church based on this Jeep and I'm, I'm thinking like what's down that way. I think it might be a church, which would make sense for the meals and wheels type of thing. I also thought, is this like one of those go fresh orders that I've seen on other apps where it's like the package meals people buy online and then boom, boom. I don't know. I mean, we're only, I think this is, I think a church to the left, the big church is down here. I think that's where we're going. And it would make sense because on DoorDash, I did a few of these uh, from the company called the Bailey Foundation a couple years back. And the Bailey Foundation was a church or is a church and it would get people that needed meals, meals. And DoorDash would put them together and sometimes they'd pay good and some, most of the time they wouldn't. Um, I've seen these numerous times on the Uber Eats app, but I've never accepted one. But it's also never shown me one like this. It was always like one or two together and the money didn't match the amount of time and or mileage once again, put in what do you think this is paying? What would you have to be paid for two hours of time to drop off 16 packages from a place you don't know, you've never been, you don't know the process, is there a long line, is there a wait? We're gonna find out. All right, the Mara Industrials, next right. That's what it says in here. So that's where we're going. That church isn't, this is definitely not a church because the church is up here on the left. Um, unless you're using the parking lot. We're gonna find out in just a moment. Build up the anticipation for you guys. This is St. Louis, Missouri, for all the people that aren't aware. All right, so I think that's the building here. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, let's see, network. When you Google it, it shows it like a marketing company. Look at a sign right there. Hello Fresh. So, yep, that's what, uh, yep, Hello Fresh. Yep, we gotta go back here to pick it up. Hello Fresh. Package meals people buy online. Yep, you guys are gonna see it in just a second. 
next. Uh, yep, here it is. I'm gonna pull, we'll pull in here. But that's what it is. There's all the people here picking up packages as well. So, yep. Oh, big old boxes. Oh, Lord. Yeah, they're gonna be, I mean, we're gonna be able to fit it, but uh, I've never been, I've never done this before. Let me get out and ask these guys a question. Oh, Lord. Pretty easy these are all of them right here and we're off that was fun all right so i learned something new i'll teach you guys as well some of y'all might have done this already doing amazon right now <laughs> so i started to load it up not realizing i had to scan each one so it added an extra couple of minutes but not a big deal um most of these customers live very close to each other um so it kind of I don't love that it's 16. I don't like doing routes that are like that on any app. My anxiety kicks in. I'm just like waiting. It's like, oh, I just want to drop. I just, you know, I just don't like doing it. The money's worth it, but that's just me. I'm just, when I have so many packages in, in my vehicle, I'm just like counting down to be done. And it's like the anxiety kicks in. It's just like, oh, I just want to be done with it. Luckily, these customers live very close to each other. Most of them do. Uh, a lot of the mileage is actually going to the couple of neighborhoods where these people are, where these packages, these meals are going. So it is what it is. Hopefully there's no issues with the drop off. Once again, put how much you think this is paying. Have you done this? Would you do this? Let's drop them off. And these are factor meals, food with a serious feel good factor. Diet open for chef created, dietitian approved meals. Just heat, eat, and get back to your goals. First package dropped off. All right, we just dropped off that first package, and then the second person lives 450 feet away. <laughs> so, pretty easy so far. All right, we're getting ready to drop off our fifth package. We've already dropped off four, and everybody lives right next to each other, around the block, two blocks this way. Very easy so far. I mean, I don't know. This I feel like an I feel like I should be in an Amazon truck. Uh, with all these, or, or UPS, or uh, old, what, what, what's it, uh, uh, old school DHL courier route, like, I feel like that's what I'm doing right now, right, and uh, I'm okay with it. Now, I will say, make sure you got them, I don't, and I don't even know if you can, uh, maybe you can look at the route and see who's, what direction, because when you got this many boxes in your car, you don't want to have to move boxes to get to a box, you know, it's been okay so far, I've been lucky, I think, but definitely don't want to have to, uh, waste time looking for a box. You know what I mean. You wanna make sure that you got them stacked appropriately so you can be efficient. Look at that possum. Oh Lord, nasty, nasty. And we hit our first snag. Well, it looks like he's moving it. Oof. All right, thank you, sir. Look at those beautiful tree colors. Look at that. Let's just take a moment and appreciate that. It's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. All right, so we got five more packages left. Um, they've all been in the same neighborhood and I, and I knew that going in because I, I zoomed in on the, the little 16 little dots or whatever. So this has been super easy. Once again, I'm gonna give you all one more check, second because this, this delivery, this video is almost over. What do you think this is paying? How much would you have to do? I'll give you guys a breakdown of how long it took and all that stuff in just a minute. All right, that's what's left. We're in this cool little gangway. Let's drop off the last one. That's what it paid. One hour, 45 minutes, 30 miles. But I'm guessing that's because it was, I had a, drive to get there i don't know it came in at like 23 miles doesn't matter um when i accepted it, i was on a walmart spark order and dropped a small one dropped it off and then boom one hour 45 minutes 101 dollars would you guys have done that 16 drop-offs leaves me in the area where i'm already going to work got some could call it luck i'll call it that um would i do that again i would absolutely no problem every day of the week that was extremely easy now i know as well when that orders come, kind of come in, it's like, it just says St. Louis and it. Now I know what those are about. 
what I do, a lot of times they send me one or two for like 20 bucks and like that same amount of mileage. Probably don't do that. Um, probably don't. But this one, with everybody living so close and it was like 0.3 miles to a drop off, 450 feet to the next one, 0.3 miles, 0.6, boom, boom, boom. All take pictures. You scan, you take a picture, you're not waiting on anybody, you leave it at the door and you keep it moving. It is 1030. Hopefully when you're watching this video, it's in the afternoon and I just uploaded this. So this really happened. You guys watched this happen in lifetime. It just happened maybe 30 minutes ago or an hour ago. I appreciate you guys for watching the content. When I do something and see something new, I like to share it with you guys and get your perspective. Would you do it? Why or why not? And um, I like to show the positive of the gig economy. $101 in an hour and 45 minutes. I say that's pretty damn good. Have a great day.